Hi guys and welcome back to Frontin Pathsala. Thank you for all the response you have given on my Bootstrap 5 series. Keep supporting. Today I am going to start a new series on Angular material. We are going to see what is Angular material and how you can install it and use it in your Angular application. So without delaying, let's get started. So, what is Angular Material? Angular Material is a UI component library for Angular developers. Its components help in constructing attractive, consistent and functional web applications. Basically, they help Angular applications perform efficiently. Now, first of all, let us set up our Angular project to begin using Angular Material. Those who have not created any Angular app, first thing which you need to do is you need to install Node. Go to nodejs.org. You can see the URL on the top in my browser. Select recommended for most users version. After installing, in your installation, you will see node.js command prompt from where we can fire npm commands. You can search it in the tax bar. Next, you have to install Angular CLI, command line interface, which will get you everything needed for Angular. Go to cliangular.io and copy this command npm install hyphen g at the Angular CLI. It will take a bit time to install if you are installing it for the first time. I have already installed in my system, so it will not take that much time for me. Next, let us create our Angular application. For that, I have created a folder, Angular Material. I'll just copy the path and paste it in my command line. Then, I'll give the command ng new Angular Date Picker app. Now, this Angular CLI will go. It will get all the Angular packages and create our project folder, which is Angular Date Picker app. You can see the folders which has been created by Angular CLI. Next, let us get inside this Angular Date Picker app. For that, we'll give the command cd Angular Date Picker app and we'll run the application by using the command ng serve. It has hosted the application in HTTP local host 4200. Just copy the URL and let us go and see our application in the browser. So now our Angular app is running. Next, let us open this project in Visual Studio Code. We'll go to the folder. It is in my desktop, Angular Material. Open that folder now you can see our app so guys in this tutorial you will learn how to create a date picker using angular material so let us uh, remove the code from app component.html because there we will be writing the code of date picker so i have just given page works there and in the browser we are getting that so next let us go to the angular material website and copy the command of installing angular material ng add angular material just copy that and paste it in your command prompt i just did control c and yes for terminating this project then i have given the command of installing angular material Here I'll just choose indigo pink. Now 
Now you are ready to use angular material in your application. Again run the application by using the command ng serve. Next go to appmodule.ts and we have to import few components for our date picker to work. First we will import mat date picker module from angular material date picker. and then mat input module from angular material input and lastly we have to import mat native date module from angular material core after importing we have to add this to array so let's add down here all the three components Now let's go to appcomponent.html and start writing our code for date picker. First you have to type mat form field. Then inside that we'll give our input tag and for this angular material we will be using mat input. And I'll give the placeholder select date. So you can see in the browser select date. Next for the icon we have to use man date picker toggle. Let's check in the browser. And next we have to use mat date picker component. To make it working, you have to create a reference variable date picker on mat date picker component. And on date picker toggle, you have to add the for property and bind it to the reference variable. Now let's check in the browser. So the final step is you have to add the mat date picker property and bind it with the reference variable date picker. Now if you check in the browser you will see that our date picker is appearing on click of the input or the icon. So guys our date picker is working absolutely fine. You can try it and let me know your feedback on the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do like and subscribe to my channel.